it's just a matter, again, of getting everybody to the table to make sure that these targets, because they are aggressive targets, become realistic. And the way to do that is through a, a collaborative approach to policy. A realization that dealers and automakers need to work together for a better future. Good afternoon. Welcome to ANN. I'm Laura Harris. Coming up, more with NADA's Mike Stanton. But first, let's begin with a mask update that affects U.S. plants. General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Chrysler parent company Stellantis are making masking optional at all U.S. facilities. The Detroit 3 and the UAW say they strongly recommend masking, but it will not be required. Germany's government will not agree to European Union plans to ban the sale of new cars with combustion engines. This comes as the European Commission wants to cut planet warming emissions 55 percent by 2030 and 100 percent by 2035. It would make it impossible to sell combustion engines starting then. Up next, President and CEO of NADA Mike Stanton says dealers need a seat at the table on EV policy. With growing demand for EVs, it's necessary dealers are a part of the ongoing EV conversations to ensure that future developed policies will work. He says dealers and manufacturers are stepping up for what's to come and the necessary changes that must be made. The car companies have done an excellent job in, in this journey to electrification. The dealers are ready to, the dealers have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars individually, close to $3 billion collectively. So dealers are ready. The OEMs are building cars now for the ma mass market, uh, you know, electric cars for the mass market. And we need to make sure that our voices are heard as these policies are developed. Stanton says dealers are the ones closest to the customers and that the focus needs to be on the customers in order to succeed. Retailers and manufacturers need to meet the customer where they want to be met. Customers still need yeah, they, they need, they've got a lot of questions. What vehicle is right for them? Uh, what, what is their trade-in worth? Uh, how do I arrange financing? And, and all the traditional needs that a customer has had over the years are, are best handled with, with a qualified dealer to answer these questions. Then you add the complexity of, of electrification. Is an electric car right for my needs? What about range? How does that work? What kind of charging do I need uh, at home? And, and those questions are best answered by qualified professionals that are trained and ready to address uh, all of Stanton says consumer expectations have changed, with more people going digital than before. Surveys show only 4 to 5 percent of consumers want to buy online. But now, franchise dealers have an option to offer both. I don't think we're going to lose the face-to-face -face value. Uh, again, I think it's a small number that want to go 100 percent online. But the benefit of all this, the real benefit, is that dealers have made the, the, tr the transformation where the actual car transaction is taking less and less time. So it's more convenient for the customer to be able to do a, 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 a portion online, again, whatever the customer's comfortable with, and then they arrive at the dealership more prepared. The dealer knows what's coming uh, with the customer and what, where they are in the process coming through the door, and they're able to you know, get through the process more quickly, which is what customers have told us over the years. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to autonews.com and click on First Shift to watch our next show. And follow us on Twitter at Autonews TV and online at Autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. See you all next time.